Idaho magnitude 6.5 quake near Yellowstone and the warning of a, a, a potential volcano eruption that the next time an Idaho volcano erupts, it will be this one. Now, we did speak about in the previous video concerning the nine Idaho volcanoes. Two of them uh, are uh, believed to be extinct around Boise, Idaho, and another seven. And then the other eight volcanoes, which are in Utah. And we have to remember that this is all in the same region. There's right down there, that little lake around the six o'clock position was Salt Lake in Utah. And Salt Lake City is where we've been having the recent uh, earthquakes after that sudden 5.7 out of nowhere. And this, as you can see, the San Andreas Walker Lane Fault System and the magma going through Utah into Yellowstone and around the Yellowstone, Idaho area, the Snake River Plain. And this is what it looks like. That lava right there is the craters of the moon in Idaho. There are six volcanic, volcanic um, lava eruptions there. But we have magma under there. And volcano experts from Idaho revealed recently the identity of the most likely volcano to erupt in this area of uh, the Northwest, and it could happen in the foreseeable future, they say. Now we have the volcanoes of Idaho, and I'll leave a link below for you on volcano discovery. We have the Blackfoot Lava Field, the Chero Grand, the Craters of the Moon, uh, which are the northwest end of the largest lava field of the Snake River Plain in Idaho. It contains 60 lava flows, 25 cinder cones, and up to 250 meter high and eight eruptive fissure systems, and covers an area of 1,600 square kilometers, but we'll go into that later. And then there's Hell's Half Acre, then Men and Buttes, Mountain Home, Kuna Lava Field, Shoshone, Sinker, Sin Butte and Wapi Lava Field, which is a, a low shield volcano that formed during an eruption about 2,250 years ago, producing six cubic feet of fluid Pahoho Lava Fields. So, uh, and if you want to go into, okay, the, I'll leave a link below for you to see the Utah volcanoes as well, all right, under Salt Lake City. Basically, the Idaho and Utah volcanoes nine and eight, that's 17 volcanoes, uh, making a, a, um, a mark like a seven around uh, Salt Lake City. And um, that's flanking Yellowstone. So what is it that uh, the geologists are saying concerning Idaho? It's the uh, home of a number of potentially number of dangerous volcanoes, including the one likely to erupt next. Now remember that uh, before the Ridgecrest earthquake uh, happened last year, July 4th and 5th, the 6.4 was the foreshock to the 7.1. And we've had thousands, tens of thousands of aftershocks after that one. Thank goodness they're decreasing in number. But uh, that's in the Coso volcanic field. And uh, be, uh, north of that is the Monuino craters around the Long Valley calderas. Caldera, which is a supervolcano. But we remember that uh, before the Ridgecrest earthquakes, the geologists were saying, you know, everybody in, uh, in California is ready for an earthquake. You know, they're, they're waiting for an earthquake and they're ready for it, but nobody's ready for a volcanic eruption. And they kept on saying that it could happen and it could be in the area of the Mono Inyo craters, which is north of Coso Volcanic Field, which is north of Ridgecrest. And lo and behold, that's after a little while after they were warning about that, we had the 7.1 magma. Not that they, were, they weren't predicting the earthquake, but it, it did happen. The earthquake happened in the volcanic field. Now, uh, they have now, uh, this article I'm reading from is happens to be for Express UK from uh, last year, February 4th, 2019. And they talked about the Idaho volcanoes. And this is exactly where we're having the sudden quake that we had uh, just about 
yesterday this time of a 6.5 and we're still having like 40 earthquakes after that uh, they're still ongoing by the way and uh, so uh, this is what they're warning about the Idaho dangerous volcanoes they have uh, they, they have a number of potentially dangerous volcanoes, including the one most likely to erupt next. The craters of the moon lava field, flow of lava, which has been erupting like clockwork, okay, they say it's been erupting like clockwork over the past 15,000 years. And volcanologists from Idaho Geological Survey now warn that craters of the moon will almost certainly, quote unquote, erupt again once uh, the time runs out. Geological evidence says that Crater of the Moon spewed up to one and a half square miles of molten rock during its last eruption. And these eruptions were consistent with one another throughout time, they said. And a future eruption will likely be on a similar time scale because they say it works like clockwork. The good news is Craters of the Moon is not yet considered a high risk volcano, even though they have this threat of future activity. According to geologist Zach Lifton of IGS, okay, the Idaho Geolog Geologic Survey, it might take another 1,000 years before the volcano erupts. And the volcano experts said that the latest edition of the USGS Caldera Chronicle said, while craters of the moon will almost certainly erupt again, perhaps in the next 1,000 years, it's not considered a high-risk volcano. Uh, earlier, he said uh, the US Geological Survey published their 2018 update to the National Volcanic Threat Assessment, which is an effort to prioritize research, monitoring, and mitigation at volcanoes in the United States. The threat assessment categories, volca categories volcanoes as very low, low, moderate, high, and very high threats. And there's a total of four volcanoes in Idaho that were labeled a low threat, and those are Craters of the Moon, Hills Half Acre, Black Butte Crater and Wapi Flow. And Dr. Lifton stressed that his fellow colleagues, the geologists, remained vigilant. That means they're alert and they're looking at it to the volcanic threat lurking under the surface of Idaho. A mix of geological and archaeological evidence from this area shows them that Craters of the Moon rarely reared its ugly head in a pattern every 3,000 years or so. The volcano is believed to have last erupted about 2,100 years ago, and that means that another blast could be brewing in about 1,000 years. And Dr. Lipton said Craters of the Moon is made of 60 lava flows, and as we said before, from volcano discovery, they erupted between 15,000 and 2,100 years ago. The lava field covers 600 square miles. Eight different eruption episodes are known, and each episode lasted hundreds to perhaps thousands of years. Can you imagine? You have eight different eruption episodes, each episode lasting hundreds to perhaps thousands of years. What? 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 How is that possible? The eruption lasting hundreds, perhaps thousands of years. And we have very beautiful pictures of these the volcano lava flowing like waves. It looks like waves. It must have been very runny. It must have been very fluid. And uh, once the eruption does occur, the blast will most likely create slow-moving flows of molten rock up to 20 miles from their source, and they're thankful that the local communities of Cary and Arco would be spared a direct hit from Craters of the Moon if it erupts and when it erupts, but the same cannot be said for local farmland and rangeland where they have the herds of animals, the farm animals grazing. Dr. Lifton said eruptions may also impact transportation, U.S. Highway 20, 26, and 93 pass through or near the volcanic area, according to um, Sebastian Ketley of Express UK. And the uh, ones near Boise, the ones near Boise are Sinker Butte Volcano, which is probably extinct, they say. 
Uh, then we have the mountain home, Kuna Lava Field, probably extinct. Then we have the Shoshone Volcano, which is normal or dormant, one out of five category. Then we have the Craters of the Moon, as we said, that's the one that would be going off in about a thousand years. Normal or dormant, one out of five. And uh, south of that, we have the Wapi Lava Volcanic Field. And let's look at it t together so you can see what, what's going on. Okay, this is our area. And this is the area of, uh, this is Salt Lake right there, that blue area. This is the Salt Lake City Swarm. And the Utah volcanoes are like this, as we'll see later. And the Idaho volcanoes are like this. And this thing here is Yellowstone Super Volcano. And going to uh, Utah, let's go to Utah since we're here. And these are the eight volcanoes you can see right along that ridge leading from Baja all the way up to Salt Lake, right here. And this is Idaho, and this is uh, Yellowstone right there. And there we have our Idaho uh, volcanoes. Okay, this is them, they're all nine, these nine. And this is our Salt Lake right there, that blue body. And as we said before, the plume is coming from Baja, going to the west and also going up this way and directly into Yellowstone from Utah, feeding those volcanoes and these as well, and Yellowstone. Now, going into them, okay, this one here, Sinker Butte Volcano, the Mountain Home Kuna Lava Field, Shoshone Volcano, Craters of the Moon is the one that's expected to go off in about a thousand years. It goes like clockwork and lasting to hundreds or a thousand. That's amazing. It would last a long time if it goes off. Wapi Lava Field Volcano. And this one probably extinct. And this one is the Hell's Half Acre. And this one here, Blackfoot Lava Field Volcano. And this one as well, which is Hell's Half Acre, just about, uh, this is Yellowstone Super Volcano right here. Okay, so this is the one that's about going off at clockwork, Craters of the Moon Volcano. And this is where we're having our quake swarm today, right here. Okay, so uh, that's a surprise, a 6.5 was a surprise, and you can see the swarm is very strong and still ongoing, just like we have the swarm in Salt Lake still going and the one in Texas still going where we have the five magnitude quake. That is still going. Sorry, let's go back. And um, the swarms are still going off. And you'll be surprised to see how many quakes have hit this area because it was very it was a very big quake. There you go. And they're still ongoing. Okay. The ones that are yellow basically are from yesterday. They're just uh, over 20, 24 hours old. So that's why they're yellow. And the blue ones are today's quake quakes. So all of you there please be very careful. People have felt them in uh, Canada and uh, Seattle. I would venture to say all the way to the west coast because it was pretty big. Thank you for your support. God bless and protect you always. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue 
my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.